Hello Virgo, I'm Susie from the Gift of Road 2 and I'm here to read your cards for this week of the 3rd of November. Angel, Spirit, Guides, Universe, what would you like Virgo to know? What would you like Virgo to know about this week of the 3rd of November for Virgo, please? Virgo. Okay. bottom of the deck we have oh we've got the emperor so someone could be overseeing things uh you could be dealing with a father figure a boss an aries but um you might feel like the emperor during this week like you are large i feel that they're larger than life that you own something that you are overseeing something it's quite masculine we could be dealing with a masculine um but we've got the Eight of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. So you could have been working really hard on your coin, working on your self-employment. Um, and this Knight of Swords came in and could be a Gemini that said that wanted to talk or disrupt a situation. It could have been an argument over work or someone spying on you. They're spreading gossip and they're jealous. Um, is the knight to the page. They could have been like pretending they've got your back, but they haven't. This is also the Gemini. Um, it, there's lots of gossip going on around your coin, around your self-employment or the thing you're working on. Um, you're passionate, you're a leader, you are fire here, you're creating, and a hopeful wish is coming true everything's coming out of the closet things are starting to come out and it's like words or gossip or messages are starting to come out now and it's causing a tower moment like a, a, a home move or something like that it could be gossip towards a queen of wands but there's this you've got leo and aquarius and then the tower once this stuff comes out it 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 shocks you and um but the thing is you're able to drop the burden of the rods that were on your back of the people that are trying to push you off your path it's like you find out that there's not it's like while you're working hard someone is is spreading gossip or jealous of you it's because you're fiery because you're sexy there could be this fire sign here with the hopeful wish coming true your hopeful wish coming true but it does create a tower moment your wish coming true creates like a breakup of the home but it unburdens you um towards uh getting rid of these people that are pushing you off your path there's no more struggle here um you might you might still feel a bit trapped in a third party situation, but I think the news is out and you're about to untrap yourself. Um, these burdens or this news or something happens this week, it's all to prevent you from mastering your craft or becoming independent. The longer you stay in this trap, with this eight of swords or this i don't think you're overwhelmed by it i don't think that you're being pushed anymore but you're going to realize that the whole time either this gemini gossip this brother or because usually a brother when i see the knight of swords or, or this younger person that thinks they know it all has been jealous, spying, a hindrance in any undertaking over your creativity or your spark or your passion, spying on this and uh, and your and your hopeful wish comes true or the stuff comes out of the closet, you see, so you can begin to heal things. You're very vulnerable here, but your wish is coming true. That hopeful wish is coming true. But that hopeful wish is a tower moment, is a breakup of the home. And you realise you've been creating the wads for your own back. They're going. You're, you realise that these people didn't have your best interests at heart. You realise that you've been stuck in some kind of third party or not telling someone about someone else. 
and this has prevented you getting to your nine of coins so you start with the eight of pentacles but you finish with the nine of pentacles reversed so you, there's things that are keeping you stuck here working on a coin but never progressing it's like a hopeful wish comes true and then a shock comes and you're You're, you're, it kind of gets the red of these burdens. Once all this stuff comes out of the closet, because I feel that you're the Queen of Wands this week, I think, or you're dealing with a Leo, or, and it's a hopeful wish. Some woman comes in to give you this wish, and it breaks up the home. You could be moving in with someone, but you realise that the whole time you were working on your coin here, you were never allowed to get nine coins or master your craft because you've been gossiped about or held back angels spirit guide you it could be from that father figure or aries or boss angels spirit guides oh, i'm not going to take those because i say virgo 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 what would you like virgo to know what would you like virgo to know we've got calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like very good to know? Religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. There's some kind of maybe age gap, religious gap, um, something distance between you. There's something not right and this is causing a separation. But you're calling in a soulmate, angels, spirit guides. Can we have Virgo? It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Virgo. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. See, in these cards, there are no cups. There are no hearts. I think you're, call, you're about to call in someone else. You are... There's this hope for which come true. You could call in this fire sign, this Leo. Or it could be this this Gemini that comes in to give you this message and says, I want to work on something with you. Um, I've heard all about you. And this is a hopeful wish come true. Could be work or someone that fancies you. And this creates a breakup of the home. Um, but it does get rid of a lot of burden for you and a lot of overwhelm mentally. But you're still... You haven't mastered, you're not sovereign, you're not independent enough. It's like you're caught in a trap. Eight of Swords. Let me ask the angels what they'd like Virgo to know. What would you like Virgo to know? What would you like Virgo to know? What would you like Virgo to know? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. There's way too many cards. What would you like Virgo to know about the week of the 3rd of November? The week of the seven, next seven days, please, for Virgo. What would you like Virgo to know? Okay, so the first one out is, what do you desire? You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. Compassion. Soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Change in direction. The changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love. And our guidance, you're protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy outcomes that you desire. The last one is schooling, study and education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. So there's something of a wish coming true, which may threaten other people because they're jealous but if you don't master yourself you've got an opportunity here that may upset other people that's what i'm seeing this week um it could be to do with an emperor it could be to do with a boss an aries um i've got leo woman here there's a gossip going around someone <sighs> someone's talking about something and it causes a breakup of the home. But at the same time, you're realising that you're being stuck here. 
working on your own coin. And that these people that are preventing you from getting to the dragon, get the fleece out of his mouth. You've realised, you, you, there's big realisations this week. It's saying stay optimistic, calling your soulmate. And you need to study, there's, there's a next step to do. Don't be stuck at this situation. Try to upgrade yourself. You're going to be made an offer out of the blue, which will take the burdens off your back. Um, and help you tr help you maybe not be so independent but uh master your craft i really want to pick another one and i don't know why angel spirit goes burger please i'm just going to cut the deck spiritual understanding i'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths so he's holding like flowers and stars and um, vibrations and you're, you're it's like you're starting to understand things this week and why things went down the way they went down and you're overseeing it like this emperor with the eagle eye it's like you've sent out your eagle and the eagles come to tell you everything strange reading virgo but um stay optimistic it's safe for you to love you're calling in your soulmate but there'll be a separation here. You're getting out of the trap. Could be just moving house. So I hope I've helped you and I will speak to you soon. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.